had been working open houses. I worked open houses every Saturday and Sunday. And I went to an open house and it was a vacant house. I worked it, worked it and came home and was telling my wife, oh yeah, like four people came through. And she knew enough at the moment. She was like, well, did you get their contact information? Have you followed up with them yet? And I was like, no, I, I didn't ask them. And she said, so you're telling me you babysat a vacant house and missed out on our daughter's soccer game for that? And I was like, you know what? I, I have no other option other than to ask for contact information, to follow up, to, to do the things that are right in front of me. Hi, I'm Carla Higgins, and this is the Double Duty Agent Podcast. I am so glad you're here. Each week we get together and we explore the stories of successful double duty real estate agents. And from their stories, you can find the solutions to overcoming your challenges and the keys to unlocking your success. Are you ready? Let's get started. back after our little mini series we have got another super inspiring uh story for you today jeffrey melvin is with me all the way from georgia right that's right hailing from georgia and so we are going to jump right back in to an amazing double duty success story jeff welcome thank you so much i'm excited to be here ah oh, i'm so excited to have you all right well, I, I, I usually say let's jump back in the way back machine, but you're way back. I don't know how far that is because you're, you know, you don't look so old. So I don't <laughs> Listen, know. Listen, I love this podcast. <laughs> that was just you, a little buttering you. up bribery. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah. So a little bit in the way back machine. Let's talk about <laughs> your origin story for real estate. Did you start out as a double duty agent? So it's so interesting. I actually had my license from. Uh, 2001 to 2008, when I was just fresh out of college. Oh, wow. Uh, didn't know what I was doing. M ended up more just kind of being an admin um, uh, for mega agents at the time. And obviously, when 08, 09 started, I was like, well, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people thought that. <laughs> I know. I ventured out of real estate. And um, in 2019, uh, my wife and I were just kind of, we were facing some life changes in terms of just career, where we were living. And we were at, at Texas at the time. And I was like, 